What is up crafters? Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a free Minecraft server using optic servers. I did a video on this hosting a while back, but it's changed quite a bit since then, so I decided to do an updated tutorial on it. Anyways, this hosting gives you 80% CPU, 2 gigabytes of RAM, and 10 gigabytes of storage for free. However, you can use coins to purchase more CPU, RAM, MySQL databases, ports, storage, whatever you want. You can also run a couple other games for free, but I'm only going to be showing you how to set up a Minecraft server because I'm the Minecraft free hosting guy, you know, that's what I do. I will also be sharing my thoughts and opinions of this hosting at the end, so stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe and let's get your free server set up and ready to play. All right, so the first thing you'll want to do is head to the first link in the description that will take you here. We want to click on login with Discord now make sure you sign in with your discord account and click on authorize and there we go just like that we made our account so now what we want to do is create our server so we can go on create a server now we can create two servers given our resources but we're going to use all of our resources for just one server so we can call it whatever we want and now we want to set our cpu to 80 percent then our memory ram we can set that to 2048 our disk space we can set that to 10 gigabytes that's quite a bit of disk space. And we can set our additional ports to two, our backups to one, and our database to five. And then we can go on their free location, which is Frankfurt, Germany. And now we can choose whatever kind of server we want to run. I'm going to just be running Perper because it's the most optimized that we can get. Then we click on create server. There we go. So our server is still installing. So now what we need to do is get our game panel password. So you can go on to game panel access. And now we want to reset the password. Click on reset. So here's your game panel password. What you'll want to do is hover over all of this and control C to copy this. Now this will never show again. So make sure you go write it down somewhere or put it in a note on your phone. But this is what we will use to get into the game panel. So we can click on open game panel. And we'll open it in a new tab. So we just want to enter in our email of our Discord account. And then we want to paste in our password with Control V. Then click Login. And there we go. Here's our free Minecraft server right here. So now what we'll want to do is it's basically the default pterodactyl theme. So we can click on Files and we can see our files. We don't have any files yet. But we are going to go ahead and create an eula.txt. Just type eula equals true. You don't really have to do this but it'll speed up your server startup time. Click create file and then just name it to eula.txt, enter. And there we go, now we have our eula accepted. So if you never use a panel before, it's pretty basic, you can create allocation. There we go, now we have another port. We can modify our this stuff, which nobody cares about. We can create a MySQL database, but we're just going to go ahead and get our server started up. So we just click on start. So while we wait for our server to start up, I'd like to talk about their shop. So you can buy stuff like the unlimited plan, which comes with 64 gigabytes of RAM and you can pay once and enjoy forever. So you'll never have to pay them $50 or 50 euros again. And you get all these locations, you get all this good stuff. So it's probably worth it to upgrade to their premium plan because you don't have to pay ever again. we also have just their premium, which is 16 gigabytes of RAM for only about 11 euros. So, I mean, if that's worth it to you, then I'd say go with it. We can also purchase coins to do all of these stuff, like upgrading your CPU or getting more RAM. But if you don't want to pay money for coins, you can also use the earn coin section. So you can AFK on here to earn coins. You can also do this stuff. You can even create a referral code. You can get 30 extra coins every time you refer a friend. All right, so our server has started up. Now you may see that the TPS is a little bit behind, but that's because of the Hibernate plugin. So basically when there are no players online, then the server kind of like goes into a Hibernate state. So that way that the server isn't using unnecessary resources. But once a player joins, your TPS should go back up to normal. I'll talk about this a little bit more later. So now what we want to do is click on our address to join our server and we can go inside of Minecraft and click on multiplayer and then we can click on add server change the server name to whatever you want and then we can paste our ip in with control v click on done oh here's some fun servers now we can scroll all the way to the bottom 
and we can join it. And there we go. We are in our free Minecraft server. Now, I did have to change the server jar to paper because on purper it like would not let me join. So use paper instead of purper. And yeah, here's our free Minecraft server. So now that you've seen optic servers in action, I'd like to share some of my thoughts on it. Let's start with some of the positives. I like the system of it, how you can earn coins to purchase more server resources. I think it's like really fun, kind of like a video game or something, upgrading all your stuff. It's also really easy to set up your server and customize it to your liking. Now, the main downfall of this hosting is that it's a bit laggy. I was not able to join at all using Perper MC, so I had to switch to Paper MC, and I was actually able to join still, but the chunks took quite a while to load in. However, I do have a couple premium servers with optic servers and this does not happen at all in the premium nodes. So I definitely recommend upgrading if you have the money to do so. The premium servers do feel a little bit slower than on other hostings, but keep in mind that with optic servers, you can get a lifetime server, so you'll never have to pay for it again. So, I mean, it kind of balances out. There's also the Hibernate plugin, which is fine, but it would be nice if you could disable it on premium servers. I completely understand using it on free servers, but optic servers is one of the only hostings that forces you to use it on premium servers. And if I'm paying them money for a server, then I should have the choice whether I want to use the Hibernate plugin or not. But really the plugin doesn't affect server performance a whole lot. The TPS goes right back up to 20 when a player joins. This plugin is also better for the earth because it's not using unnecessary electricity but I can understand if you don't like it because of all the TPS alerts in console. Now I'd like to mention that I'm making this video because of literally one comment that I received and I'm also running out of ideas and hostings to make videos on. So if you know or own a free hosting, then please let me know so I can make a video on it. Now, if you need support with your free server, feel free to pop into my Discord or the Optic Servers Discord, which will both be linked in that silly old description. Anyways, make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this, and I will see you on the other side. Happy crafting.